that is by Friday and a lot of this week is also going to be dry although today we could see a few showers possibly scattered around but they are fairly isolated and tomorrow is going to be dry and bright with some sunny spells. The greatest risk of seeing any showers during the rest of the day is to the north and to the east of London. They could potentially be on the heavy side but as you can see for most of us it is a dry afternoon with those temperatures around 20 to 21 degrees. Any showers that have developed then through this evening and overnight will then start to gradually clear away to the southeast of us. So it's then going to be a dry night with mostly clear spells and turning a little chilly, particularly out and about in the countryside. We're starting tomorrow morning with temperatures in single figures for us around about eight or nine degrees. But for tomorrow, we're looking at a mostly dry day, some good spells of sunshine, certainly during the morning, the best of any sunshine. Later on in the day, the cloud will just tend to build but it should feel a little warmer than today with those temperatures reaching highs of around about 22 to 23 degrees. Now the reason it's mostly dry is because we're just about holding on to high pressure. There are some weather fronts to the north and west of us but they really lose their intensity as they head towards us, just bringing a little bit of cloud at times. And then the reason for that heat Natalie mentioned is the winds changing direction on Thursday and Friday. Once again drawing up that very hot air from the continent so you can see the heat is going to build and by Friday we could see highs once again in London of 33 or 34 degrees.